There we go again. Quick restart for the boys. Anyways. Hello tubers. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy the shit. The shit being that one right here. We're going to watch it together. I will upload it to YouTube right afterwards. So you, you will basically miss absolutely nothing unless you watch it yourself. And if you did that, then why are you watching my stuff? Okay. Anyways, please watch my stuff. Anyways, like, follow, subscribe. Anyways, let's see how that one goes. Okay. We get a new daughter. I like my daughters. Um. So there's that. I have no idea what the fuck is going on with my YouTube, but you know what? Let's refresh. Because that seems to be a little bit fucked up right now. What are you waiting for? Um, or hoping for? Or want to see in the patch review? Tell me in the comments. Maybe you're lucky and it actually appears. Um... I know a few things that have been a little bit spoken about. So, yeah, it's going to be nice. A bazooka would be amazing. It would be fucking amazing. You have a point, son? You have a point. Also, why the fuck is this shit so badly loading, man? Oh. YouTube on this browser is terrible, man. Like, I don't know what they fucked up with this garbage here. But I wish I could just... Never have this shit on the entire time, okay? Anyways, let's see how that one goes. Firefox is supposed to be the best browser at the moment. Yeah, mainly because Firefox is the only one that doesn't really have good ad block for YouTube. I don't use it though. Yeah, same. I'm not going to use Firebox. I'm happy with my Opera Jax. Otherwise, it's just that YouTube is loading extremely slowly. Anyways, it should be fine. It should be starting soon, I hope. And yeah. Audio, I will increase or decrease depending on how the shit goes. I'll put it a little bit further for now. Also, by the way, tubers, the codes will be down below in the description. Just for information, it's neat, okay? You just have to copy paste shit. I feel like the shit is not going to be starting at this point. Or will it now start finally? I'm getting impatient. I feel like I'm missing shit already. But who knows? Who knows? There we go. It really looks maybe no no no. It seems to be this garbo, I don't know. I make it a little bit lower. This shit is low as shit man. I hope the shit is not too loud. If it's too loud, tell me please. Uh, because then I can just fine tune it a little bit, okay? So, chat, tell me. Is it loud enough? Is it too loud? Is it too little? Tell me. I need to know. My dogs, my homies, my bros. He comes and goes without leaving a trace, Ooh. only appearing at the most critical moments. He's highly knowledgeable. And he likes to share his observations with others. She has a it's cold day. and stern exterior, and her spotless battle record has earned her renown throughout Fontaine. 
She is an unusual looking Melusine with an equally unique perspective on the world. And now, Aww. their voice actors have all oh, gathered Dorothy. here today to deliver the version 4.7 special program! Yay! Yay. 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 We're actually all here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, travelers. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, our hosts for the special program include... Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Dainsleaf. You may know me from all of those new character intro videos and occasionally drop in lore on y'all. And I'm Sarah Williams, the voice of the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Sejuin. She's there keeping everybody all healthy and nice and making sure everybody feels good. And hey everyone, I'm creatures. Crystal Lee, the voice of Fontaine's champion. Yeah, the pride Duel of Fontaine. Grand. Pew, 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 let's get you it. You should you befriend right, them? Nice. Call them the so we've got a traveler, a man of mystery, a duelist, and a healer. I think it's the perfect adventuring party. Mm -hmm. Huh, uh, what a wild coincidence, you guys. I just received <laughs> an invitational letter to a new domain. Yeah, that's yeah, not a coincidence. Gee, Wilkers, where did that come that's from? That's just destiny. Yeah, new domain, definitely. <laughs> you know, this new domain seems to be right behind us, but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions first. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Traveler, Paimon. Ooh. Would you join us Not and play Mar Chose Hunter Judgment Day? This script was adapted okay. from the real history of the Mar Chose Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve Ooh. a series of events unfolding in the capital. That looks cool so far. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Mar Chose Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters. While I fight against lawbreakers, for when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Okay, not bad. But I'm honest with you, it does look interesting so far to me. Her shooting is kind of cool, but I don't know. Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. So vast and mysterious. There must be quite a story behind this place. Okay, Seto Kaiba so, second. I'll explore oh, this shit. place with you to the end. I guess Seto's is then on the first battle. Victory. As it seems like. Way ahead of you. Move or be moved. Not that I doubt your fighting ability, of course. It's just so much more dangerous in there than I ever imagined. Oh, well, if it hurts, just let me know. The bears are too cute, man. Oh my god, I can't. And I, you can bubble people. Finally. It's revenge time, Ebba Space. It's revenge time. A strange disease. One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus, their souls became cleansed and pure. I wonder whose voice that was. The way he's holding his sword. He must be a real Mara Chose hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. Oh shit! Oh shit! I shall have my Lumines! No, fuck Lumina. Lumine! Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. Wait, that was Sumeru. No? <laughs> Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Oh my god! Oh no. I put the code in the thing on down below, you know. Also, I put it in chat right now. Oops. I hate copy-pasting this shit, whatever. 
Let me do it like that. I'll put it on Discord as well. As always. It is interesting, man. Did I do a mistake on the code? I did not. Good. And it's on Discord. Neat. Also, it's a cute art. I really like that. By the way. What, by the way? Code ends with cat and nine as nine lives. Yeah. The cat, I already figured that one out, but the nine, you have a point. I don't think it's a coincidence as well. I guess we get another kitten event this patch. Just imagine. Or we get a uh, Diona Lynette. Where is this here? Kirara banner. There we go. It's gonna be happening, trust me. I'm engineer. Together with Freena, second half, and the Melusine, the beautiful creature, the Pride of Fontaine. It looks like our first mission is here. <laughs> Fancy that. Assemble your team. Oh, I get it. Our first That's gonna be mission interesting, is to introduce But I'm surprised characters. that they put in right, this is getting exciting. random ass Fontaine right, characters well, on the um, dative quest. Duelist, if I understood it correctly. <laughs> it's true. That's gonna be fucking neat, man. In my role as champion duelist, my opinions do not matter. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Freelina is involved somehow. She's always involved, man. I, she, they push her everywhere, man. Ready. The shooting is cool, but... Evil looks, shoot why would I pull for her, man? I don't see it, man. This best girl after all? No. Animations. Oh, did you see that ultimate? So good. That ultimate is so cool. Mm -hmm. The ultimate is probably the worst part about her. I'm honest with you. I think the shooting Ooh, thing is more interesting, but I guess it's linked to her ult. I don't know. Prince mm -hmm. is fine, but I don't need her. Yeah, same. Monsters like, I have Sino. I have Raiden. I, think the I have Seto Kaiba. Also been mentioned in some of the Master Duelers. Records. Exactly. The Mara Shose Hunters have a long history. To modern day Fontanians, they're nothing more than an old Some legend good. from novels and plays. But for Clone, the animation the is neat, yeah, but it's really weird. It's one of real. these olds that are like. If travelers want to learn more about the Mara Shose Hunters, then. Good sure looks, but no effects. Quest in the new version. I want to learn more about the Mara Shose It's like they are old. Perfect. Then know. let's get into her combat abilities. Clorand is categorized as an Let's electro see. sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up to five consecutive strikes. During her charged attack, Clorand uses her pistolet okay. to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. Hmm. Also, Clorand okay, has developed a special ritual over the years. It's like she always old polishes at her all. weapon I know before each duel. It looks good, so but her ult is like I'm weird as fuck from what I remember. Even the champion uh, duelist I think it's just like cute side, huh? <laughs> two little hits or some shit and then so to a buff or some garbage. Like oh, what? Though it's probably a meaningful ritual for Clorand, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Clorand focus on the opponent in front of her. In Maybe fact, something changed. Clorand's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates how potent she can like be when e, she's focused. Like her E, that's cool. Her E is very cool. Out. Don't get me wrong. Her e is very combat, cool. Unleashing Clorand's but her ult is just like... Will cause her to enter the I don't know, weird. Vigil state. During this state, Clorand can unleash two different types of special attacks. Her normal attacks will be converted into Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks. And her elemental skill will be converted into a Lunging attack, Impale the Knight. Huh. It looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Does the skill have any additional effects? Oh, good perception on those eyes. Those it looks very cool, I'm not gonna lie, but increase Clarion's it's bond of enough to pull. And her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will clear the bond of life. Wait, so she accumulates the bond with one hand and then clears it with the other? 
Oh, hey, that's a really good explanation. Yeah, Cloran's special attacks have different effects depending on the value of her bond of life. So when her bond of life is like relatively low, her swift hunt pistol attacks have a piercing effect and they deal greater damage. But when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Again. Ah, gotcha, I get it. <laughs> so Cloran is meant to use her pistol to accumulate a bond of life and then use her sword to clear it once it reaches a certain amount. And that way, both attacks hmm. benefit each other. Bingo! Though you should remember the effect of one of Cloran's She is for nothing. Talents. I mean, she is for so something. In the it's not nothing, but... State. Any healing it's not other great, than yeah. the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will be converted into a bond of life. This unique talent allows different healing effects oh. to alter the pacing of Cloran's gameplay. Oh, okay, that's so interesting. Travelers can experiment so if you use heal us with her, she's doing more damage. That's cool. Also, although Cloran is most correctly. renowned as a champion duelist, she has never forgotten her identity as a Mara Shose hunter. So, during her elemental burst, Last Lightfall, Cloran draws on her Mara Shose hunter heritage to unleash an ancient skill that empowers mortals to fight deadly monsters. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AoE electro damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. Mm. Wow, that's so cool. It is just basically but if nothing. But that power is designed to fight monsters. <laughs> is it really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? <laughs> Good point. I think Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro damage okay. dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Though, note, there is a ceiling to the damage bonus that she can gain from this mm -hmm. effect. Cloranda so also I guess has another passive talent off called field reaction stuff so Nahida. If her bond of life is greater than the let's gunpowder in a bullet percentage, then a change in her bond imagine. of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. And while she's in the night vigil state, she's the taking out the nerf gun and stuff. into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Cloran a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So, when she's in your party, Cloran can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional resources on the mini-map. So awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be eager to use her to uncover treasure, defeat monsters, I have and Lily, of I don't course, need her. uphold justice. Not necessarily also, in that order. Also, doesn't so, she come a tiny so. little bit late? Cloran is usually pretty stern and composed as a champion. Like, it's 4.7, okay? We almost done with Fontaine. I don't think... Like, it's that valuable she anymore. Have any hobbies? Like the time sure is over. She has some interest outside of work. I mean, she's always accepting cosmetic products from Sijuin and making sure to return the favor because she's sweet. Aww, and yeah, of course she does. Clorand is an active member of the tabletop troupe during her off hours. So in version 4.7, travelers won't just have the chance to learn more about the Mara Shose hunters during her story quest, the Reparia chapter. They'll we also might get, get another region on a for very France special tabletop troupe adventure. Woo! That is true. I love. TTRPGs <clears throat> so much. But Ooh, I know I'm it's so gonna excited. be tough, man. <laughs> yeah. like three more years of Genshin. Of that, that okay, is all the but listen. That I have to share about Cloran, so it's not Liwa, up, let's okay? If it's Liwa, it gets Sijuin. love, okay? Oh, yes, yes. If it's okay, Sumeru, it hold gets on, on. empty fucking land for two first. kilometers, yes. some shit, with three chests well, we on side of it. Okay. So you gotta take care of it. In two upgraded region places for Sumeru. Yeah, Moonshot is like having issues. Moonshot is like completely neglected. It's annoying. But oh my god, we can bubble enemies. He might oh be no. A little prick. I, dude, I will get her. I don't give a fuck, man. I will get my daughter. Okay? She will come home. I need so my daughter. Cute, it's unreal. He's so wow. adorable. I Holy fucking shit, man. So the bubble has ears on it. I would love to ride around on a bubble like that. She's yeah. with her little legs dangling in the air. Oh. Yeah, with the bubble gun and the giant syringe. God, it's so cute. <laughs> I like her cool. So big. I like her cute, really visually really wise. Know, Effect yeah, wise, not as much. I give you that much, patients, okay? I can see why they but visually, it's so fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, for sure. Hey, sometimes you gotta take your medicine. And since she's the head nurse at the Fortress of Maripede, Sijuin wants everyone to stay healthy. She believes that taking care of your body is the most important goal. But she often encounters people who overwork themselves in the production zone, so she always tries to sneak them healthy meals. But she doesn't think that's a substitute for some proper rest. 
Oh. Have to take a page out of her book. Yeah. Seems like you'll need to be well fed and well rested if you want to keep up with Sijuin. <laughs> I like her. For sure. She seems like such a caring and I attentive like her person. But then what's she like <clears throat> when she fights? <clears throat> Well, Sijuin is a Hydro Bow user. Her normal attack unleashes up to three consecutive attacks. During the second I like the piss, third attack, Sijuin takes out oh a pill my God, and tosses it at her opponent. I the saw piss. that in the demo. It's like she's literally telling her opponents to take their medicine. Look at the size of that thing. The she can make piss, aimed man, shots using her charged attack. Once the shot is held in fully charged, Sijuin's bow will fire slow-moving mini-stration bubbles, dealing Hydro damage to her target. Just make sure not to release her arrow. This is so oh, oh, and also, Sijuin uses a specially made bubble gun to fire a giant <laughs> bolstering bubble bomb during her elemental skill, Rebound Hydrotherapy. The projectile bounces between nearby opponents, dealing hydro damage to anyone it and touches, and restoring HP to all nearby party members, well, except for Sijuin herself. Sijuin will be healed a certain amount of health when the bolstering bubble bomb disappears, which is based on her max HP. <laughs> Bolstering bubble bomb. Say that three times fast. Oh, please don't <laughs> make me. You know, travelers. Also, have a, one thing a is kind of weird. Contest with their if you use her E, you, can have that oh, you have to hold exactly it apparently. Like if you tab it, the longer you what's hold her now? elemental skill, the larger the bubble grows. Once the projectile is released, it will gradually decrease in size as it bounces around. Ah, okay, the bigger good. the bubble, the greater the damage and healing effect. And if a large bubble hits a weaker enemy, they'll be trapped inside. Whoa, guys. It's like she's trapping them in a cage of kindness. Like the hydro Peppy's just weak, yeah. She cares about her bedside manner is so strong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait good. a second. Are those the orbs that Nidalette drops? It looks like Sijuin oh. creates two source water droplets when she fires a bubble. And it looks like she gains a bond of life when she touches them. How does that work? Uh, I can't explain that as well. Since she has training as a nurse, Sijuin understands how to make... The bond of life she's getting is so situation. little. Holy shit, Her now. elemental skill creates source water droplets. <gasps> and Sijuin can shit. give herself a bond of life by absorbing them. It's when like that bond 5 of life is cleared, Sijuin can oh regain God. some elemental energy based on the value of the bond of life. I don't know, man. Ah, I don't like so it. Healing the bond of life feels absolutely false on her. And she can restore energy for herself. Nice. That's right. While the bond of life is hazardous to most people, it can actually be perceived as a real advantage for Sijuin. After she unlocks her talent, Detailed Diagnosis, Thorough Treatment, Sijuin's healing will be increased based on the total bond of life values across all the characters in her party. Oh, thank goodness. Sounds like a Melusine can make the bond of life a lot less scary. <laughs> <laughs> After using her elemental burst and absorbing nearby source water Alex droplets, Shino, Sijuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. <laughs> this attack deals Dude, this continuous is so nice. hydro damage. Wait, that's so cute. Even it's her so attacks cute. are I a can't, form of man. medical treatment. A huge syringe. Yeah, I mean, hey, she just wants everyone to be as healthy as possible. <laughs> yeah, right? Sijuin wants every patient also, to like get the a proper that you can see on the syringe. After unlocking her passive how long are you have time until rest. the thing rounds out? Unleashing her elemental skill will also trigger the semi-strict bed rest effect. Oh. This effect will grant her a hydro damage bonus and several stacks of convalescence. When non-active characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Sijuin can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Ooh. I like how it's only semi-strict. Like, you know, <laughs> not super strict, because she couldn't be super strict. <laughs> Just a little. Wow, so it seems like the Bond of Life mechanic is pretty integral to both Sijuin and Claran's kits. Mm-hmm. That sure was a lot of information. I like though. that whole oh, yeah. damage. I can't wait to see these. I just don't like the way it does it. Travelers yeah, won't that's just fair, be limited I guess. to the play styles that they've seen here, right? As, as I understand it, the mechanics leave a lot of room for open experimentation. Yeah, yeah. Right. And outside of combat, Melazines are very connected to the ocean, so Sijuin always takes care of her companions during underwater exploration. Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She can use her emergency dose talent to continue. Continuously restore HP to her party member for a period of time. Oh. Unfortunately, doing so will lower all of their elemental and physical resistances. There's always a price. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Cool. That seems like a skill that would That's come in handy, though. But once again, way too late. Mm -hmm. I don't Thanks, think we need nurse. healing on the bot anymore. <laughs> of course. Oh, and I've got a quick question for you all. Yes. Have you noticed any differences between Sijuin and other Melazines? Ah, hmm. well... 
I think her appearance and her interests definitely stand out. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ignore the tail and the feelers on her head, then she actually doesn't look that different from a human child, right? How could you ignore those? <laughs> right. Well, it's not fair. Oh, no. Who did the melusine? she's interested oh, in beauty, no. and she knows a lot about skincare, and she actually even contributes <laughs> to the most famous beauty magazine in Fontaine. Did not know that. Oh, 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 and her medical knowledge. Right? We haven't encountered any other melusines who give medical treatment to humans. Oh. And Sijuin seems to care the most about the people of Fontaine. And she's Wonders also one of the few here. melusines who work in the fortress of Merapi. I guess right? they are I mean, actually related speaking, to. Not many people are willing no, to treat in that case. I mean, Not even a melusine's open-mindedness usually goes that far, right? Mm, Sijuin's does. You're all bringing up great points. Don't you think that Sijuin's differences from the other melusines make her seem more unique and approachable at the same time? Mm -hmm. In the Nerei chapter, travelers will have the chance to learn more about the background of this very special melusine in her personal story quest. Ah, I can't think. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, speaking of story quests, didn't Central travelers Pyro. meet a mysterious youngster last version? Oh. Sometime during Sino's Be careful, story quest? don't go with him well, to castles because he might jump down if he's losing. He recently left the desert and he's eager to travel around. Happened before. So, Zach, why don't you introduce him? Mm. Zach. Oh, me? Uh, okay, then. Let's take a look at Sethos's demo. If you're always asking why, you end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. I like his charge shots a lot, man. I try to shift plus. Happens every time, man. Happens every time. He could be very oh, fucking fun to me. Okay. Wow. His design is so But I'm not cool. going to get cons. It's amazing. nothing happening. Yeah, the clothes and the hair, I love it. Right? Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his desert heritage. He's also talented in archery. Also, Sethos it's kind of nice. I have his weapon already, right? And he has a great sense of direction. Like, better pass Whether weapon. he's exploring the desert... It's going to be nice, rainforest. man. It's going to be nice. He knows the roads like the back of his hand. And he always knows where to find the best regional specialties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you Ooh. probably know where this is going, but I'll say it anyway. When Sethos is in your team, he'll reveal the location of Sumero regional specialties on the minimap. Nice. Cool. Blini weapon. Yeah, Wait, so pretty I'm much. Curious. I mean, it works for both pretty well. For his entire life, and he carries the weight of such an ancient I, But yeah, I also like have the second great kind of magic. Would either be like I know really he's charged on normal text actually. Super arrogant, but I think he's both. Like that at all. I think yeah, both you're works. Absolutely right. I don't know Sethos exactly how or why or when, person. but I think both works. As the successor to the mysterious Temple of Silence, he had more educational opportunities than other people who live in Sumeru's desert. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. He has a very open mind, and he tries to be optimistic. In fact, his personality is a huge help in getting along with other people. So wait, that sounds like... Are you saying he's a social butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he's a pretty busy guy, and he Come lives on, a pretty skills. varied lifestyle. I need to know. <laughs> and he's around the same age as the general Mahamasa Like, I think Sino. it's both. He occasionally visits it the academia. It looked like he's using he's both, trying okay. To make friends in Sumeru City. But I could be wrong, obviously. he enjoys browsing goods at the Grand Bazaar. But we've already talked a lot about his hobbies. He's Let's so move nice. On to yeah, he's, he's, he's very combat. nice. He's, yes. he's nicest of them Sethos's all. Sethos' aim shot has a special variant when charged to level 2. He can't move oh when his God, attack takes is charged forever. to its second level, but it allows him to fire a powerful shadow-piercing shot that can pierce enemies, dealing electro damage to targets in its path. Ooh. Sethos's talent, Black Kite's Enigma, can decrease the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. Some elemental energy will also be consumed after releasing the shot. Huh. Nice. Ooh, useful. Yeah, and also I noticed his aim shots take a really long time to charge. So it I takes fucking forever, man. I'm dying. Store up elemental energy to fire the shadow piercing shot faster, right? Hey, wait a minute. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yeah, you're right on. Oh, hey. that's why Sethos that's has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. It's an ancient ritual that deals AOE electro damage, and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, electro swirl, quicken, aggravate, or hyper bloom reaction. Basically everything except swirl. But travelers also have another option for firing powerful shots by unleashing his elemental burst. Sethos will perform an ancient ritual that was passed down from King Deshret's era. He will enter the Twilight Meditation State, 
converting his normal attacks to enemy piercing dusk bolts that deal increased damage based on his elemental mastery. This shit is oh, cool, man. That's cool. That sounds like a mini version of the shadow piercing shot, only it doesn't take as much time to fire. <laughs> Useful. <laughs> Okay, also, it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of powerful abilities, so, uh, between you and me, does that mean Sethos has mastered other mysterious On the trailer, rituals and techniques? the texts look of a lot course. stronger. Yeah. I'm sure that the I don't know why they look has so super weak in there. Of secrets. One of his other talents will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow-piercing shot for a period of time based on his elemental mastery. All right, sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So many ancient rituals. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make full use of his martial heritage. He's similar to Kulavrand in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. We finished the first mission. Nice. I guess I second code, no. next one's going to be. Let's get it. Oh, it no looks mind. like we'll oh, have yeah. to uncover hidden secrets in our next mission. Hmm. <laughs> why, why are all you guys looking at me? <laughs> well, I mean, secrets are kind of your area of expertise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Is speak in riddles. His ex don't speak feel as powerful sir. as yeah, a whole. That's essentially, <laughs> that's why okay, my entire well, gripe with him. Yeah. I'm the only like on the trailer, it looks strong as shit. Okay. Secrets. But then, if you see his in game, it feels like. Archon Quest Chapter Four Act Six no. <laughs> Bedtime Story will become available in version 4.7. New Archon Quest. Travelers Ooh. will finally reunite with. Dainsley, hey. who will share more information about Conria's past. Ooh, that's that's what you guys were waiting for, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Funny good shit. And <clears throat> also, I you know got to Trials break out my voice acting skills. I don't know, man. To me, it looks oh gosh, a lot stronger. Hell yeah! yeah you did. Oh yeah! This time, Ether and Lumine will get to meet face to face. Ooh. And based on what we heard in the trailer, it seems like the loom of fate is now complete. So travelers can look forward to learning more about Kari Bear in this Ooh, more Kari Bear. We just can't reveal everything right now. Ooh. Okay, leave some secrets. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. These are important secrets that travelers should uncover for themselves. Oh, okay, okay. You can call off the snipers, call off the snipers. <laughs> right? Look, look I, look, I know, I get it, that everyone can barely contain their excitement. So, I will throw you a bone. To help tide you over until the next update, I'll be sharing a special surprise with y'all. Okay. What happened? What is it? Come on. Oh, I love surprises. It is. You'll know very soon, I promise. Uh... But first, 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 we need to introduce the Dance event wishes. Dark of okay. So, okay. okay. In the first phase of version 4.7, there we go. Korand and I'll hate them. I'll hate them. Okay. And Sato Kaiba. I knew it. Yeah. Setos will be the new four-star unit that appears on this event wish banner. Mm -hmm. And in the second phase of the version, come on, travelers can look forward there to event is. wishes from I knew Sijuin it. Okay. and Farina. Yes, yes, yes. And Sijuin. because there we there's go. never enough. A new five-star sword, <gasps> Absolution, and a new five-star bow, Silver Shower Heartstrings. I still think be that bow could be very event neat event. for me so good. if I go for Teach Win, but I'm not gonna get it. It's it's but a right. fucking okay, unfortunate okay. thing, but I've made what can I do, man? Enough. Let's bring out the surprise. Yeah. Okay, please, please be good. Don't be shit. Oh no, it's the enemy. It is actually. It's a UFO table thing. I believe. Traveling in the night, you lift me in. And I feel you in Dallas blow up wind. Even over, I can punch you out. The answer is not fair. Would you know how I feel 
Oh no. Of course, something for the feed skeeters. Of course, just piss me off. Know that I will always try. Funny heart with them and right. Though the nights are long and dark, I see you shine and bright. And no matter where you are, if come with me this far, that is true. Better than Ayaka already. Also, the minion's cutie. I still take that. I don't give a shit. If you disagree, it sucks for you, but the minion's a cutie. Somebody has unlocked two constellations. God damn, man. That was banger. Fuck, man. I really, really fucking like it. Okay, should be fine. God damn, man. That thing was good, man. Oh my god. No, don't don't do that, man. Don't don't bring up my past, man. It also has BC in the in the thing, right? Which means BC. We all know what BC means, right? Before Christ. So it's fucking old shit, man. This code this code is over 2,025 years old. And in CVS portfolio. See? I think we find more. Yeah. I think maybe they just show the new collapse that's going to be happening. Like the um, before Christ. So they have a collab with Jesus. Um, Welcome back, travelers. It's fucking insane, man. It's fucking I insane. I think it's about time we introduce this domain behind us. Yes, yes. Bring on the challenge. I'm so the ready. The new Abyss dun, thing. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you sound ready. I guess. Also, <laughs> the location Billet? of this challenge seems Wait, pretty intriguing. Wait, Billet? Paimon and the traveler discovered a secret Billet? room within the Mondstadt library, and they've received <clears> an invitation <throat> to participate in a mysterious performance. <laughs> oh, I love secret rooms in libraries. I've always wanted one. So that's right, the all-new event, Imaginarium Theater, will become available in version 4.7 for One -time travelers thing who are adventure rank 35 or higher. Nice. Wait, so this is a library? Mm -hmm. Wow. The coolest library. I know, it looks a lot different <laughs> from what I imagine. It's huge. I mean, a lot of yeah, people were complaining like about not getting billets, okay? Mm, right? So I can see so it cool. being resettable as well, somewhat. So travelers will encounter a concierge in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. I know, cute. he's so cute, Wolfie. He'll reveal that this room 
room was created by a mage and that he's waiting for a guest to take the stage. He is also a poet. <laughs> that guest will hopefully put on a magnificent performance by becoming the main character. I like how he has these cut out things Bring on the on side. Character energy. Mm -hmm. Was he the Pokemon guy? That is true. After arriving Could be. in this room, it says me to Avatar. With this strange book in Confirm. order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Oh, you know, man. Oh, you know. But what kind of challenge is it? Uh, let me tell you. Imaginarium Theater contains a series of combat challenges with different battle conditions. Now, only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. So travelers will have to select characters who meet the requirements of the challenge. Oh, I get it. But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh-huh, good thinking. But we can we'll have to worry about that. Because first off... Six characters will be designated as the initial lineup for each challenge. Trial characters will be provided oh God, for Look at this terrible build. Oh my God, this build is so the bad. Travelers can also invite oh special no. guest characters to participate in the challenges that aren't restricted by the event requirements. Ooh. In addition, travelers can also designate a certain number of characters as supports for their friends. Yeah, they boy. They can also select their friends' supporting characters to join their own team. That's a nice way to get to try new characters. Right? Friend, friends. Friends, who, who would say no you to can use my C6 Chirina now, yeah, and you can use my Chirina now. And during the current challenge period, those six designated characters who make the initial lineup will gain fantastical blessings. This will grant them buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater Challenge. Wait, 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 wait. wait so what? you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Wait, what? Yes. Wow. You're kidding. Wait, okay, the mage behind the theater must be super powerful. Oh, super powerful. And I know that everyone's wait, probably what? wondering why it looked like we huh? had to select so many characters just now. But characters will consume vigor while participating in Imaginarium Theater combat challenges. So when a character's vigor is fully depleted, they will no longer be able to fight, ah. and you will have to replace them with a new character. It's time for some R&R. &R. Oh. <laughs> ah, I get it. So when you select your characters, you have to pay attention to how well they hmm. work together. Yes. And also how well they can fill in for each other. Exactly. Mm. Evolved strategy. And I should ah, also that's mention neat. That's neat. I like that not it. all selected characters will immediately appear in your team. Some characters can only be gathered by progressing through the story. They can formally be added to your team at the end of an Imaginarium Theater battle or when you encounter certain special events. Cool. Ooh. So assembling your team is part of the challenge. Yes, which it's makes the it puppy even more balls. fun. But let me Yeah, I'm not going to take jungling. I'm sorry, dude. It's not about me. Travelers can choose to spend Fantasia flowers to trigger events during the story. Now, some events will unlock certain characters for battle, and others may trigger certain perils. Uh -oh. Some doom. So, travelers will have to choose very carefully. Benny. Oh, no Take pressure. Benny. Right? <laughs> Take Benny. Travelers oh, can collect click performance or rewards by completing challenges and Yeah, I know. We had an event like this, results. but only energy was. The first time they complete a challenge. And travelers like, will also receive concept. a debut performance gift. Ooh, travelers who feel particularly confident can try to attain the star challenge condition during each stage. They'll be able to obtain different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. Primo Gemis? These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. And oh my god. Cool, mm, right? We can flex. <laughs> travelers can also obtain toy medals during this event, which they can exchange with Wolfie the Concierge. Aww. In return, travelers will receive special poses for their characters when taking photos. Yeah, awesome! Right? Travelers will be able to take all sorts of new cool Oh, pictures. that's cool! I am excited I need official ones. So hyped. Mm. Me too. If they don't give and me official one, more poses will be added whenever Imaginarium Boyle? Theater is updated. Yes, and finally, each performance you have in the Imaginarium job. I'm Theater just has saying. several difficulty levels, and each one has a different number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels will yield even better rewards. Bring it on! As Wolfie the Concierge well, likes to say, when the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't you hesitate. Just go open it. How can Aww. he be so That's cute? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 somehow I still didn't make him as cute as he actually is. Of course, it'll take time for travelers to raise the necessary characters and understand how they fit into this new challenge. And I'm sure travelers are always looking for ways to get more primo gems. Oh. <gasps> You just said the magic Primo word. Gems. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Each month, Imaginarium Theater will alternate with updates with the Spiral Abyss. In addition, the total some time rewards pimp? that can nah, be gained man. from the Spiral Abyss I'm good. has been increased from 600 Primo Gems to 800 Primo Gems. <gasps> yes. 800 yeah. Primo Gems. More information will be available across Genshin Impact's official social media accounts, so 
Keep a lookout. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Ooh, the background is changing. Ooh, here we go. Let's here we see go. what else this version has in store. Yes, please. Cloud Forge Boat. Security enhancing that simulation. Looks good. Huh. I see some hilly churls and ruin guards, so I'm assuming this is one of those monster fighting events. Oh my yes. god, he can play sort as monsters. Of. Oh no. Travelers won't be engaging you monsters get directly. Fighting Instead, me? they'll be able to command monsters to fight in a cooperative simulation. Ooh. Dude, this is okay. This is nice. We'll be hosting a strategic <laughs> war game to improve their understanding of security needs throughout Devat. They'll be accompanied by representatives from Mondstadt's Knights of Favonius, <laughs> Inazuma's Yashiro Commission, Sumeru's Core of 30, and Fontaine's Special Patrol. Their joint exercise is intended to improve military tactics across the continent. Sir, yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> You're making this event sound really official. <laughs> that, that was my official voice. Uh, you know, I'm just doing my best. As I was saying, you can play two different kinds of scenarios in the off. event. Assault scenarios and defense scenarios. As special representatives to the simulation, Dude, this is cool. To analyze oh my god, this is an event that... Find a good event, man. ...for completing the challenge. In assault scenarios, you only need to select your combat units and deploy them within your staging area. So once the scenario begins, the unit will automatically start attacking your opponent. So sit back and I don't know if nice. you can relax when these things are coming at you, but try. Clearly not. Pew pew. Ooh, okay, okay. Dude, this is true, try. man. Look at this. Yeah, okay. This uh, is neat. Do it. <laughs> How come my hilly churl archers got wiped out so quickly? Oh no. Because they're not spread out. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I forgot to mention something important. <laughs> you sorry. know. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, but the, but here we can we can fix it now. Some types of combat units are more effective against others. Ranged units like hilly churl archers are vulnerable to melee units like mita churls. But don't fret. You can turn a bad situation around if you choose the best units to tackle the opponents on the battlefield. Just choose the best units, Zach. Mm. Exactly. Just choose the best just, units. Just yeah, choose, the, choose best the best units. Simple fix. Simple fix. <laughs> In defense scenarios, you need to deploy units to affect I like this already. enemies who are attacking from multiple directions. So defeated enemy units will drop support beacons, which can this then is be a pretty used good to deploy event, additional combat units and frontline structures. As the unit's commander, travelers can use their leadership skills to create favorable conditions for their team. And if they're successful, then travelers can obtain various rewards mm -hmm, from the mutual security enhancing simulation like event. Rewards. These rewards include brrr, primo gems, yes! a crown of insight, <laughs> And a four-star bow, Cloud Forge. It's Pokemon. Okay. It is Pokemon, yeah. Okay. And next up, we're introducing another combat-related event, Endless Forms Most Martial. I don't care Ooh, about this, okay. but... Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that this one is going to test some different skills. Yeah, you betcha. In the previous event, travelers only got Pokemon. to simulate combat, but the environment on a real battlefield is way more unpredictable. And that's why it's important to come up with combat tactics on the fly and take advantage of battlefield conditions. So, in Endless like Forms Most Martial, travelers like no will have to defeat enemies according to the special rules of <clears> each <throat> stage. For example, some challenges may require travelers to defeat enemies affected that by the electrocharged condition. Smart. And that is the only way to accumulate progress towards the challenge goal. Now, once they satisfy the requirements, they'll be able to earn ba -ba 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 rewards. I'm appreciating rewards. all these rewards. Yes, I love rewards. Hmm, so this is one of those challenges that requires you to strategize. This seems Indeed. rather boring. Oh, okay. Like, Let's we had that before, but... Next event. I'm gonna try this oh, my this. God. Yeah. I've gotten a report about a loud boom that just went off in a rather unremarkable part of Fontaine. Uh-oh. Ooh, I like that news. It must have come from that crocodile-shaped cannon. Oh, it, no. It, that thing looks pretty scary. Never fear, viewers. I wouldn't worry about it, actually. Shoot. This cannon was modified by a Fontanian engineer. <laughs> it, it's now just a toy cannon that you can use to fire hydro bullets. So why not have some fun with it? Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, mm. Why not okay. yeah, that's... if that's the case? Travelers will need to allocate energy to the cannon and choose uh, the correct whatever. firing mode to destroy but as we had many that target in, balls as possible within the, in the key island before. They'll even be rewarded for their trouble. And this ever person that is playing mm -hmm. has like major experience already. Special types of target balls will appear during the challenge. They will produce different effects when they are destroyed. So be sure to check it out for yourselves in the new update. Cool. You guys, that's that's my kind of yeah, old school arcade games because I'm an old school. Okay, oh, I'm just old. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm no, just no, old. No, yeah, no, really. No, 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 no. Next event <laughs> takes place in the land of Mondstadt. Travelers will encounter a familiar light novelist who recently completed a new script. 
Travelers who follow Jinju. the script will be able to nah, embark no. on a wondrous journey of literature and imagination. And the script will lead travelers to mysterious locales where they it will looks have a the little bit more interesting. rewards. That is, if they can evade bullet curtain assaults from oh, shit, it's you know, various oh, my mechanisms God, it's and collect enough labyrinth coins. No big deal, you can do it. I'm easy ready. peasy. Wicked warlocks will also be scattered across the field. Ooh, alliteration. I like it. <laughs> if you defeat them, then you can earn even more coins. Ooh, it looks like we'll have to move really skillfully if we want to avoid all those attacks. No pressure. Mm -hmm. But hey, don't worry. Travelers can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. So these buffs will make the oncoming bullets a lot easier to deal with. You'll also be able to get rewards more easily if you're smart about how you use them. That sounds great. So great. Speaking of strategies, the new version will be adding more updates to the Genius Invocation TCG. Travelers can look forward to new characters. Jin Young card. Oh my god, ain't for fucking way. It's not that I would play it, but NPCs will be ready to challenge travelers in the open world. Oh, and I hope they're ready to lose. Oh, well, oh, they could take a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, the Leyline Overflow event will also return in the new version. So yeah, I don't, don't care about Leyline. Oh, that was a lot of information. Let's take a break while we take a look at the last redemption code. Last code, yay. That's a lot of letters. Two buffs. Once again, it's in the description below yet. Just so you know. I got you dogs. My homies. My brotherins. My habibis. That kitten art looks cute. They have very adorable art this time. I really like it. I don't know what comes next. The preview is pretty long so far. Nutlan tease, Nutlan, Nutlan tease, Nutlan tease, Nutlan tease. I hope. Who knows if we'll get it even. I hope we do. I really want to see what's going on there, man. I already have a slight suspicion, okay? Like, there was some. Dialogue from the current event, right? Where the dude has said sh shit like and we're back. Um, reptilian we're people back. or some garbage. Hello, hello, hello. So Welcome I assume we will get these as playable once as well. Program. Looks like we completed this domain challenge. Oh, was there ever any doubt? Piece of cake. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find I am very, very pro. Thanks. Now no, it's not time so. to tell everyone about the new optimizations in the latest update. Okay, optimizations. Yes, First up, the counterpoint point system resin. for collecting daily commission rewards will now be unlocked at Adventure Rank 24. Hopefully, this okay. helps travelers level up more quickly. Nice. That doesn't and really now help. And for but some really sure. exciting news, travelers' max resin will be increased from 160 to 200. Oh. Travelers' resin. Woohoo! Nice. I know that I have <laughs> lots of Bishop you and notice from Human the Bishop that is anchored. That is true. Point seven will have some other optimizations. Be sure to check them out for yourselves in game. Yeah, artifact ones, I don't care about. I'm on with you. All right, that looks like all the information we have to share today. Bye, travelers. What? What? <laughs> just wait, kidding. Wait, 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 no, wait. I'm can't. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, of course please. I wouldn't sign off without giving you guys the chance to to talk about your time here on the special please. program. How was it? Please give me something, okay? Say. No, I'm, I am just... I'm so thrilled to join I mean, considering that I didn't put cast, the anime thing at the end, to to I assume there must be something else, okay? To your parties, I hope, but I could yes. be wrong. Just see how 
cute she is with her little pills and her adorable little syringe. <laughs> ah, take it. Oh my god. And like, and thank you very much. A beautiful yeah, creature. Same here to everything that Sarah said. It's Fontaine. such an honor to join the cast. I am so excited you show you that Corinne is finally home. coming out. I hope everyone has fun uh, like meeting her and learning more about her. Uh, and also, I, I'm really excited for these combat events. I don't know about you guys, but I, I've been playing this game, and mm. my favorite mm. thing is beating things up in this world. <laughs> yeah. No, me too. <laughs> Love fighting please these monsters. On, please. And, and you guys, I, I have not been playing this game for years. Please give me the so Nathan. While, while uh, Dainsliff is, is a man of mystery, uh, this game, uh, so much of it is a mystery to me, and you guys were so welcoming today, and I learned so much. And I don't know, is this the thing that finally gets me to start I'm playing? I'm sick and tired oh. of Baguette Land, you guys please. A, a gateway? Ooh. Is that what Make me excited. Happen? Did we get this him? This is it. <laughs> yeah, I, it's been absolutely awesome doing this with you guys. I'm so excited for Imaginarium Theater, of course, all the new characters, and the new Archon Quest because I got some new voice lines. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yay! Isa has voice he lines. Speak. He can speak. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming, guys, and see y'all in game. Bye see y'all in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. it, that's it. Oh, wait. Yeah, boy. Oh, shit. Look at my homies. Oh, my God. I want that in my teapot. I want it in my teapot. Wait, close up world. No fucking way. He swims world. Oh my god, it's Rexai. It's Rexai. Oh wait, what? In the waters too? No fuck is. Nah, man. <laughs> wait, what the fuck is this? Oh my god. No! No, yo! Oh my god! This is... It's shape shifting, man! It's shape shifting! It's an amount, it's fucking shape shifting! Also, look at this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy sh. Mmm. Not long gonna be good! I also have to bend this piece of shit. Nothing's gonna be good! Oh my god, I can't, man. Oh my fu- Mmm, mmm. Not the shape-shifting. No, mm-mm. No, not the shape-shifting. Not the shape-shifting. They didn't do that to me. They didn't do that to me. No, no, no. I just imagine things. I just imagine things. Dude. We put ourselves into fucking animals. Holy shit, man. Didn't see most of the stream, but the last minute. You missed out, man. You missed out. Oh my fucking god. Uh, this is juicy, okay? Oh my god. Can I... Wait. Dude. We can swim through lava, okay? I'll watch it in a bit. I will upload it to YouTube. Don't worry about it. But... Also, bye bye tuba soon. Soon. Just look at this shit, man. This is so cool. Holy fucking shit. Okay. Then, brother, that's a dental chicken in small. It's the dental chicken, but in small. My guy, my lad. What the fuck? Okay. Look at. Nah, man. And he can fucking fly like a moron. We, we shape shift into an animal, man. Like this is so cute. Oh, God, no. Dude, look at this. It's so cute. It's so adorable, man. And there's a chicken. I guess we get into the chicken mode as well. So I guess we become the mound. And if you look at the area. There are so many murals across the fucking walls here. Oh my god. I hope this will be better than Fontaine. Please be better than Fontaine. I beg you, okay? Like, so far, I'm happy, okay? I don't th think there was anything that I dislike about this preview. 
Holy fucking shit. That one is juicy, okay? Wasn't fantastic. No, it was not. It, the, under, the underwater was cozy. But besides that, it was rather boring, I would say. I'm not the biggest fan of Fontaine. Sumeru Desert, first part was very good. Um, then second part was mid, the third one was shit. Okay, and since then, I didn't have too much fun on exploration. I'm honest with you. The latest update, the current one from the current patch, 4.6. That one was way too fucking short to be enjoyable. It was overall nice, the story was good, but the exploration was dog water. I'm honest with you. It, it was dog water, okay? It, it wasn't really that fun. It was more fun than the previous ones, but it, it was still not that fun. I'm honest with you. Not the biggest fan of it. And Nutland looks better, okay? Nutland looks already better. Like, with the possibilities we have seen already with shapeshifting shit like that, I'm, I'm good, man. I've done latest expo yet, so I can't have an opinion. Fair dude, but the latest expo has one good thing, okay? One good thing. There's a fat ass whale, okay, which you can always jump to, okay? The problem is he's moving around. So it's somewhat stupid sometimes, but it's not too terrible, okay? Also, the area is lots of height, okay? You have to go a lot of up and down, which is pretty annoying in my opinion. But besides that, amazing, man. Looking forward to watching the preview trailer. I have to... To a job interview in a bit. Do that, buddy. Good luck on the interview, man. I hope you get the fucking job, man. Anyways, I will end my stream now so I can upload it to YouTube. Chris, in case you want to watch it, guess what? It's on my YouTube soon. And Tubers, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm not begging often. I mean, I'm always begging, but like for subscribe. Helps out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me about Nathan. What, what do you think about Nathan? Okay, please tell me. You can't be seriously saying that what was bad, okay? You can't. But I want to see your opinions.